Hey guys, Chris Rathmel, Fit at Nottingham Personal Training. Just a quick one on spot reduction. I, I, um, I've actually been asked this this morning by one of my clients and I explained it. It's, it's a really important question. So I get asked by loads and loads and loads of people about um, reducing fat through the lower abdominals um, and how it's possible. Now, is it possible or isn't it possible? That's, that's basically what they want to know. Now, most people will tell you that we lose fat in a very general way and all that kind of stuff. That's similar as a bit of crap. So uh, people who lose fat in a general way or people who are told that they lose fat in a general way just don't know how to lose it in a specific way. So there's two, there's two reasons you can lose fat, you can target fat reduction. One of them is through hormonal rebalance, which I'm not going to go into today, but say for example, uh, the, what, the reason we store fat through our stomach, the stomach has a very high amount of cortisol receptors and cortisol is your stress hormone. So if you've got a huge amount of stress in your body, you work, you drink a lot of coffee, you eat a lot of crap, um, drugs, antibiotics, um, you've got a very stressful life, kids and all the rest of it, you will have a high amount of stress in your life. This means that this area of body, which is very sensitive to cortisol, stores fat because you have a high amount of that level of hormones circulating around your body. So this area picks it up. If um, the other reason you get it is to do with posture. So one of the reasons, the biggest test I get people to do is after a training session. So we've been training, so you've been training high intensity for an hour. If you put your hand on your lower abdominals and feel for the heat in that position. At the moment, I've not been trained, it's early in the morning. My abdominals are freezing cold. If you then move your hand up to the upper abdominals, you'll find they're quite warm. Now, what this means is that the lower abdominals lack circulation. So, what we want to do in theory with them is, is boost, if they lack circulation, basically you cannot target fat loss from that area. So if you haven't got blood flow to an area, it's never going to reduce the fat in it because it, you can't get the blood into it to get rid of the fat cells and uh, move around. So it, won't, it just literally can't circulate to it. So one of the things you need to do is boost circulation. And the, one of the reasons, one of the major reasons why you lack circulation is because of something called an anterior pelvic tilt. So if I, if I just show you now, so if I tilt my pelvis into that position, so I have a lot of people that walk into it with a really big pelvic tilt, so two or three inches the wrong way. That, obviously one of the things that put a lot of pressure through your lower back, but also it looks like it makes me look like I've got a bit of a pop belly. However, if I control my pelvic tilt, with, which is what we have, in theory we have to do with a lot of people, into that position, put it straight again, my stomach goes flat again. So in that position, I've got a huge amount of tilt into that position where the blood isn't gonna to wanna to go to because it's working against gravity, it's working against gravity. What we need to do is correct people's pelvises into that position, which will then aid and boost circulation. The other thing is if you're training your abdominals in this position, you're never gonna to get to the actual abdominal, you'll be training your back a lot as well. So, one of the second biggest thing I always do with people is correct pelvic tilts, whether they've kind of got a very mild one or a slight one, if it's lateral or whatever, correct the pelvic tilt and that will, that will then help to aid circulation back to the lower abdominals. That's gonna help you bring the abdominals back together and work them properly because your body isn't supposed to be in a ridiculous tilt. It's only because we sit too much, we drive too much and, and all the rest of it that it sits in that pelvic tilt. If we then correct that, that will allow proper circulation return the body to exactly what it's, it's used to um, and then you can start to target their abdominals you can start to target them with fat you then combine that with uh, cortisol management and stress relief and the right training patterns and plenty of water and training hydration and all the rest of it and all of a sudden you start to reduce fat in specific places which is what we want so yeah spot reduction of your lower abdominals is possible you've just got to know how to do it so um have a look if you go into the gym today do the little abdominal testing if you go into the gym today because that's really kind of you'll, you'll surprise yourself how lack how little circulation that lower abdominal has got so um i shall let you uh mull that one over cheers